जनरल सायन्स चॅप्टर फोर न्यूट्रिशन इन लिव्हिंग ऑर्गॅनिझम्स पार्ट टू न्यूट्रिशन इन ॲनिमल्स न्यूट्रिशन इन ॲनिमल्स न्यूट्रियंट्स आर ऑप्टेन्ड फ्रॉम फूड ऑल द लाईफ प्रोसेसेस रन एफिशियंटली ड्यू टू न्यूट्रियंट्स द सर्क्युलेटिंग ब्लड सप्लाईज द न्यूट्रियंट्स टू ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी फॉर धिस पर्पज द फूड इज कन्वर्टेड इंटू सोलबल फॉर्म्स डॅट कॅन इझिली मिक्स विथ ब्लड स्टेप्स इन न्यूट्रिशन नाव वी आर गोईंग टू सी डिफरंट स्टेप्स इन न्यूट्रिशन फर्स्ट स्टेप इंजेशन इन दिस स्टेप फूड इज टेकन इन टू द बॉडी सेकेंड डायजेशन फूड इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू सिम्पल सोलुबल फॉर्म्स थर्ड एब्सॉर्प्शन इन दिस स्टेप देर इज ट्रान्सफर ऑफ सोलुबल फूड टू द ब्लड इट मीन्स सोलुबल फूड इज एब्सॉर्ब इन टू द ब्लड फोर्थ एसिम्युलेशन देर इज युटिलायजेशन ऑफ एब्सॉर्ब फूड बाय सेल्स अँड टिश्यूज फॉर एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन ग्रोथ अँड रिपेअर फिफ्थ स्टेप इजेशन इन दिस स्टेप देर इज रिमूवल ऑफ वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स अँड अनडायजेस्टेड फूड फ्रॉम बॉडी इन दिस वे इंजेशन डायजेशन एब्जॉर्प्शन एसिम्युलेशन अँड इजेशन आर डिफरंट स्टेप्स इन न्यूट्रिशन इन ॲनिमल्स different types of nutrition in animals now we are going to see types of nutrition in animals first type holozoic nutrition amoeba you know amoeba is an unicellular organism so all life processes take place in a single cell you can see in diagram amoeba can take in food through any part of the surface of its body it surrounds the food particle from all sides to take it into the cell in first step you can see food particle is near the surface of its body in second step it is surrounding the food particle in third step food is taken into the body after digestion undigested food is left behind as amoeba moves further with the help of pseudopodia it means undigested food is left behind because amoeba moves further with the help of pseudopodia in unicellular organism like amoeba euglena and paramecium all the processes of nutrition occur in the same cell ingestion of food in some insects now we are going to see about some insects and their part for ingestion of food first cockroach and grasshopper its part for ingestion is jaw like mouth part second mosquitoes and bed bugs part for ingestion is needle like mouth part third butterflies part for ingestion is tube like proboscis classification of animals according to the type of food first herbivores herbivores use plants directly as their food it means herbivores depend only on plants for their food for example grazing animals granivores means seed eaters frugivores means fruit eaters for example elephant horse deer rabbit etc these are herbivores animals second carnivores carnivores feed on other animals means 
carnivores depend on herbivores for their food and for this they hunt herbivores animals for example predators and insectivores animals for example lion tiger etc are carnivores animals third omnivores animals that obtain their food from both plants and animals are called omnivores animals for example monkey human chimpanzee sparrow cockroach etc are omnivores because they depend both on plants as well as animals for their food scavengers animals that obtain their food from dead bodies of animals are called scavengers for example vulture crow hyena etc pip decomposers these are some microbes which obtain their food by decomposing the dead bodies of organisms or other material for example bacteria fungus etc you can see here bacteria and fung fungus these are decomposers second type saprozoic nutrition some insects unicellular animals etc obtain the nutrients by absorbing the liquid organic material from dead bodies of other animals for example house flies ants spiders etc third parasitic nutrition some animals depend upon other animals for food the dependent animal is said to be a parasite while the animal from which a parasite obtain food is called a host types of parasitic nutrition ectoparasitic nutrition and endoparasitic nutrition ectoparasitic nutrition animals live on the body surface of other animals means on the body surface of host and obtain food by sucking their blood example louse tick and bed bugs endoparasitic nutrition animals live inside the body of other animals means animals live inside the body of the host and consume ready made digested food from host for example tape worm and round worm in this way we have seen about nutrition in animals thank you